Well, it is now time for us to ask the expert. You know, December is the most popular month to do what? Give. Give to charities. Yeah, good time to do that. And clicking and texting and crowdfunding is changing the way Americans can give back. So we have a local financial professional here, Nick Folks, with Wisconsin or WealthWisconsin.com on new ways to give. And this makes it easier, but you also got to remember when you click that button or hit that button, the money's going there. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I, I love the topic of giving. I mm -hmm. love uh, giving personally and hearing mm -hmm. my clients say that they want to be generous and give. But one of the things I always encourage them to do is let's make sure that we do some homework okay. uh, before we go giving because there's a lot of flashy websites out there, uh. but uh, you want to make sure you're checking on the legitimacy of uh, the organization that you're giving. So to. what do we look for? Uh, well, let's talk real quick about online giving. Okay. Now, online giving is one of the most popular ways to give because it's so right. easy for people to do. But before you go giving online, mm -hmm. make sure that you can connect with that organization offline. Uh, make sure that Good. you can find a hard address for to mail documents to. Sure. Make sure mm -hmm. you can get a phone number to call and make sure they're an actual organization. And uh, if you're having any trouble with that, we have a great link on our website, wealthwisconsin.com, that you can utilize to check into the legitimacy of a we use the term organization. crowdfunding. Mm -hmm. What is that? Crowdfunding. There's uh, websites such as Kickstart or GoFundMe. These are uh, initiatives for small businesses or individuals that help them raise capital for starting their organizations. I have a good friend who uses one of these websites to fund his missional work that he does yeah. overseas. And so it helps people give towards that organization. And a lot of people know when they give, there's also a tax incentive to that with the crowd sh uh, share crowdfunding sites can you get uh, a write-off with definitely. that? definitely there's some tax incentives that are there for you can get some tax deductions one thing that's worth noting however is that not every organization on a crowdfunding website is actually a nonprofit organization okay. there's a lot of for-profit organizations on there that may not provide you with that same type of tax benefit mm -hmm. that you were looking for originally so a lot of people feel like yeah I'd like to give but I can't give now is uh -huh. can I put in for a month from now, six months from now. A pledge. A pledge. <laughs> a pledge. Yeah, there's opportunities to uh, pledge towards different causes. You can always call in. There's hotlines that are available mm -hmm. for that with a lot of organizations. But one of the things I encourage people to do that, you know, around this time, a lot of people think it's all about money, but many of these nonprofits, what they really need are helping hands. Oh, yeah. If you yeah. can be a volunteer with your family, with your community, mm -hmm. uh, with your local church, getting connected to an organization and connecting as a community can be a great way to give of yourself if you're not finding financially able to at this time. And that is good advice. Mm -hmm. Well, if you have a question you have for our experts, simply email them at today's, today's dmj 4com mm -hmm. You can also leave a voicemail at the number you see on the screen, 967-5253.